Hello friends. So in the previous video, we have just started with the concept of the per unit system of measurement, right? So we started with the per unit and we told that the per unit was equal to the actual value divided by the base value of the circuit, okay? Base value of the parameter that you are getting, trying to find. So then we discussed that the transformer does not change the apparent power of the base value, but it changes the voltage of the base value. And with that, we did a numerical which had three regions. R1, R2, R3. R1 is the generator side, R2 is the transmission line side and R3 was the load side. So we found out different, uh, we started with the base value which was the generator <coughs> ratings itself which is 480 and uh, 10 kV. For that we found out the base values of current, Z base, I base and then we found out base values for uh, R2 and we found out base values for R3. So if you have not seen this video, stop this video now. Watch the previous video because this is a direct continuation of the previous video. So in this uh, numerical continuation, we have to find the per unit equivalent of the total circuit. See, we have found out the base values, but we have not found out the per unit equivalent. So we have to draw the per unit equivalent of the power system. And then we have to find the power supply to the load. What is the power supply to the load? And we have to find the power loss in the transmission. So this circuit, you can analyze with whatever method we have discussed earlier. I have done a numerical regarding connection of a power system, uh, transformer to a power system. Same method you can use to find out, but here we are going to use per unit system. Okay, so let us start by drawing the per unit equivalent. So we have to find the per unit equivalent for all the parameters involved in the transformer. Now in the generator side, you can see that this uh, VG is the actual value of the generator. So VPU voltage generator PU value will be actual value which is 480 angle 0 divided by what is the base value VB also in the problem it was given as 481 so it is 480 so this is 1 PU okay this is one thing when you select one particular uh, generator value as the base value the <coughs> voltage for that generator PU value will be 1 okay so because the actual value and base values are the same now <clears throat> moving to the transformer here, the transformer is an ideal transformer. So in reality, if it was a uh, power system problem, they would give any rea reactance of this. So you would have to consider that reactance also. But in our example, it is an ideal transformer and uh, that much depth of analysis is not required for machines as such. You can do that for power system analysis where you will have a reactance for this also. That also you will have to convert to per unit or you will have to convert it from one per unit value to the bay to per unit value which you are trying to set okay so that is another topic so anyway this transformer does not have nothing that we have to do so we come to this transmission line so transmission line <coughs> the actual value is equal to 20 plus j60 right z actually so z line pu will be equal to this actual value divided by the base value so it is 20 plus j60 divided by what is the z base it is 2304 2304 this this value will be equal to <coughs> point zero zero eight seven plus point zero two six j pu okay so you can clearly see the per unit quantities are dimensionless quantities because the actual value and base value have same units the per unit value will not have any unit now on the load side again you are having a transformer the transformer is an ideal transformer so you don't have to consider that there is no reactance associated with this transformer so you have another parameter here which is z load right so z load pu will be equal to z load actual by z base okay so the base uh, quantity here is 5.76 ohms so the actual value is 10 angle 30 divided by 5.76 okay so this value will be equal to uh, 1.5 plus j.86 okay or it is also equal to 1.736 angle 30 degree okay this cartesian quantities are uh, important because it gives the rpu and xpu uh, separately in this you cannot find it in this the overall magnitude and uh, angle is given so now let us draw the per unit equivalent okay so you can see that this uh, voltage is having a per unit value of 1 angle 0 Okay. Now in reality this transformer also you have to replace it with an equivalent circuit. 
and usually in power system the transformer is represented by a series inductance series reactance okay because you neglect all other quantities so but in this case it is an ideal transformer so you don't have to replace it with anything so i'll just put a line to show that this transformer was there now the z line is there okay so this is the z line and the per unit value was this one right so earlier the actual value is 20 plus j60 but the per unit value is 0.0087 and uh, j 0.026 right then you have another transformer which also you are supposed to replace with a equivalent circuit sorry yeah this also you were supposed to replace by an equivalent circuit or equivalent uh, reactance but that transformer is an ideal transformer so we we'll leave it I'll just draw a line here to show that there was a transformer here and this z load the actual value is 10 angle 30 the per unit value is 1.76 angle 30 degree or 1.5 plus j 0.866 okay so let us take this to the next page and so we have drawn the per unit equivalent of this uh, power system here okay so we have drawn the per unit equivalent of this power system just make some small corrections if something hasn't come yeah okay so what is the next part of the question the next part of the question is to find the power supplied to the load right the power supplied to the load now this is totally in per unit these are all dimensionless quantities right this is all in per unit value so the power supplied to the load which will be it will be equal to now this current let it be ig this is i line and this is i load right and these all values are same in the equivalent circuit so power load now because we are taking in per unit quantities is power load in the per unit value will be equal to i load in the per unit value multiplied by um, this value right multiplied by uh, <coughs> because this is a because we want to find the power active power you have to only take the resistive quantity so here it is 1.5 plus j.866 so this is the reactive quantity don't take that because we are finding the active power so it will be multiplied by 1.5 okay so this is all in per unit okay this is all in per unit this is also in per unit this is also in per unit the actual value was 10 angle 30 okay so now let us find this value of ilpu it will be clearly equal to this voltage which is 1 angle 0 one angle zero divided by the total impedance of the circuit right so the total impedance of the circuit is 0.0087 plus j 0.026 pu right plus uh, this value 1.5 plus j 0.866 pu so all is it now these are not in ohms these are all in per unit quantity right so this you will get the value of 0.569 angle Minus thirty point five nine. This is what this is PU. Okay, this is not amperes. This is per unit values. Okay. Now, so what is the power supplied? Oh, this small mistake is here. This is I square R, right? Power is supp power supplied is I square R. So the P to the load in per unit will be equal to the current value is how much? Point five six nine. This is the absolute value of current. So this is point five six nine whole square. Multiplied by 1.5, so this value will be 0.486 pu. Okay, this is 0.486 pu. Now you don't want it to continue in per unit. You want the actual value. So what is pu value equal to? Pu value is equal to actual value divided by base value, right? So the power supplied to the load actual will be equal to the pu value multiplied by the base value of power. base value of power so what was the base value of power the base quantity was 10 kva right the base value was 10 now i told you don't think that we have to calculate a separate power in watts no need once you have selected the apparent power as the base power value you can use it to find active power reactive power or apparent power so in this case the p load actual will be equal to the per unit value is 0.486 multiplied by base value of power which is 10000 okay so this you will get it as 4860 watts okay so the per unit value was 0.486 and the actual value is 4860 watts what was the last and final part of the question it was to find the transmission line losses 
transmission line losses okay so the transmission line losses pll will be equal to now in per unit it will be equal to il pu whole square into rl pu right now don't mix per unit quantities with actual quantity you start with per unit you continue with per unit till you get the final result in per unit itself okay so the total unit also will be in pu so this value is point uh, how much so this value is 0.569 whole square and what is rl pu see this line has two quantities one is one is in resistance one is in reactance reactance will not dissipate any power only uh, the resistance is representing the active power so you have to take only this quantity don't go and take the actual value we are doing it in per unit okay so this is 0.0087 so this is 0.0087 so this value will be <coughs> 2.8 Two into ten power minus three p. Okay, so this is the line losses in per unit. So the actual value of line losses PLL actual will be the per unit value multiplied by the base value. Okay, and what is the base value of power? It is already given. It is ten thousand. So this value will be equal to two point eight two into ten power minus three multiplied by ten thousand. Okay, so this value will be equal to how much? It is twenty eight point two. Watts. So PLL actual is equal to ten twenty eight point two watts. Okay. Now don't think that this ten thousand was in VA and how we are getting it in watts. The per unit concept is not like that. You are selecting one base value for all the power, apparent power, reactive power, or active power. And when you multiply this value by the PU value, you will get the value in the corresponding units. Okay. So don't worry about that. So with this, let us conclude today's video. in this we have seen how to uh, draw a power system in the per unit equivalent okay now in the next video we will uh, just draw uh, understand the concept of conversion of per unit from one set of base values to another set of base values for example a manufacturer might give you a per unit resistance per unit reactance for a transformer based on the base values that he has decided but when you connect it to a power system and you want to do an analysis with some other base which you have selected in the power power system this per unit value you cannot use because that per unit value is selected by the manufacturer base quantities right that per unit value was found out by manufacturer base quantities so you will have to convert the per unit from one base to the other base okay that we will see in the next video so if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel please do recommend this videos with your friends because this videos uh, in this channel has multiple courses like engineering circuit analysis dc machines and uh, synchronous machine and transformers unless you share these videos the vision of the channel to bring these videos to more and more people will not be fulfilled so it is up to you to share the videos so till i see you in the next video it's me varun signing off and have a great day thank you